When Gmail completes your sentences or Netflix offers you recommendation for movies to watch, do you wonder where it all come from? Do you know how airplanes fly? Or autonomous vehicles like Tesla drive on autopilot? What algorithms are used to make it happen? Who made this possible? Where did the word algorithm come from? Have you heard of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Qawarizmi? The word algorithm comes from Muhammad al-Qawarizmi, the name of a Muslim mathematician and scientist who developed the concept of algorithms. He was appointed the head of the House of Wisdom, you can say it in Arabic like Darul uh, Hikmah, in Baghdad in 2080. He is also credited with the invention of algebra. Have you heard of algebra? I heard of. Hisab al-Jabr, Darul Hikmah, also known as the Grand Library of Baghdad, was a major public academy and intellectual center in Baghdad during the Abbasid rule. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Sorry for the interruption, but this video is sponsored by Elsa. If you guys having problem in speaking English fluently, or if you want to sound like a native speaker, so download the Elsa app. Elsa is the best way to improve your English. You know, over 7 million people use ELSA to pass exams and advance their careers. So go down below in the description, download the free app, use my link and get 7 days of trial for free. If you want to go pro, get 85% on lifetime and 40% off on 1 year membership. So just download it if you want to improve your English link in the description. But the House of Wisdom was founded by the Khalifa Harun Rashid in the late 8th century. The letter turned into a public academy during the reign of Al Ma'amun. It was destroyed by the Mongols. As you all know, Mongols just hate education. It was destroyed by the Mongols in the siege of Baghdad in 1258, leaving very little archaeological evidence. Algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure developed for accomplishing a specific task. An artificial intelligence algorithms help accomplish tasks that used to require human judgment, such as flying airplanes, driving vehicles, composing emails, and making recommendations for books and movies. High-powered computer help execute these algorithms at high speed. Social media platforms like Facebook and Google have long used AI algorithms relying on user profile data to help advertisers target potential customers. Now, under tremendous pressure from governments and uh, civil society, the companies operating social media platforms are attempting to use AI algorithms for censoring hate speech. Such algorithms are designed to be self-learning. They are trained by feeding lots of data and examples selected by humans to help their ability to make judgments. Success rate of these algorithms improves with more data over time. Let's talk about Al Qawarizmi. His full name was Muhammad ibn Musa Al Qawarizmi. He was a Muslim mathematician and astronomer whose major works introduced Hindu Arabic numerals and the concept of algebra into European mathematics. Latinized version of his name and of his most famous book title live on the terms algorithms and algebra. As I told you, Al Qawarizmi lived in Baghdad where he worked at the House of Wisdom under the Khalifa Al Ma'mun. The House of Wisdom acquired and translated scientific and philosophic treatises, particularly Greek as well as publishing origin research. Al Qawarizmi's work on elementary algebra, Al Kitab Al Mukhtasar fi Hisab Al Jabr wal Muqabala, the compendious book on calculation by completion and balancing, was translated into Latin in the 12th century. So this is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to like and share this video to Muslims and to the non-Muslims make the world know about who we are. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.